We are about to have the best day ever. Isn't that right, buddy? Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. Let me tell you what is going on today because I am so excited for a day where I have nothing planned. Oh, by the way, this is Toaster. Um, so my husband, Kent, is out of town for the weekend and everyone is out of New York City because it is a holiday weekend and it is Saturday today and I'm like, you know what? Let's have a wonderful weekend and take ourselves on a romantic date. That's how I think about, talk to myself in my own head. So there's gonna be lots of knitting and lots of crochet because I have a lot of projects I wanna work on. Um, I think by the time that you're watching this, I'm going to maybe have already shown these projects, but just go with me here. I am, I'm working on a few things today, I'll show in just a second, but I thought, why not just get myself out of our apartment and kind of just have a fun day of different things that I absolutely love to do. So you know how things always start. I got my trusty notebook out and I just wrote down a few things that I thought would be fun um, to do. I was like, okay, what would be amazing to do? I could go knit in Central Park. I could go maybe get a pedicure or a massage. I could get a Levant cookie. They're my favorite cookies in New York City. Um, I could go to the movies. Something I've always wanted to do and I've just never done it is go to the movies alone. I don't know why, but I just feel like, um, I just have never felt like secure enough to do that alone, even though nobody cares in the theater. And I have some perfect knitting for the movies, so I'm gonna go to the movies today. I thought, oh, I could meet up with some of my knitty friends, but everyone's gone this weekend, so that's okay. Um, order food in, have a movie night, I did that last night, um, and then get on some of my membership um, Zooms, the ones that I'm not hosting, they're hosting, I thought that would be really fun. So just kind of brainstorm some fun stuff to do for myself this weekend, and I wanna take advantage of this super rare opportunity where I have nothing planned, nothing that I have to do, and just have a really fun day. That's a little better, right? <laughs> so it is unfortunately a rainy day today. It's not raining right now, and it's kind of raining like on and off in patches, and I really wanna go get a Levant cookie and go knit at Central Park, because I just feel like that sounds so nice, and that will also give me about a three mile walk, about a mile and a half there and a mile and a half home, and it just feels really good to like just get out and walk, um, get outside of the house. Um, most days. So that's one thing that I definitely want to do. So I've been planning strategically how I can do a bunch of fun things and then come home tonight and be a homebody like I like to be. Um, so this is my plan. It's only, it's just after 10 a.m. I'm still drinking my coffee and I'm like, I'm not ready to leave. <laughs> I'm not ready to leave yet. So um, I have some projects I want to work on today. My tessellation tee, it's a crochet top um, by Stephanie Aaron, and I have a goal today to do eight rounds, and that is a lot. I think that each round takes between 30 and 45 minutes, so I'm gonna sit here and work on this in just a minute. It's going, it's going quite nicely, really cute. Okay, so that's my one project. Then the other project that I really need to work on today are my socks that I'm making for a friend. I have, I think, two more rounds to do and then I can do the heel. So I have just booked a movie for one o'clock, that's in three hours. So I wanna get the heel done on this so that at the movie, I can just knit on the foot. Knit and knit and knit on the foot. And then anything I don't finish, I can, I guess, knit on while I'm walking because I wanna have some knitting to do while I'm going like, you know, to Central Park and everything. So that's my plan for the day is I'm gonna hang out here for a few more hours, eat some lunch, go to the movies and knit on the sock and then go to Central Park, get my Levant cookie while it's not raining, cause it's supposed to rain while I'm in the movies. I plan the movies strategically and then come on home and have just an evening of hanging out and chilling. So to me, that sounds like the perfect day. And um, 
I, I know everyone has like a different kind of thing, like what's your best day when you're like alone, don't have anyone else to, you know, consider for your plans and just what would you do? And so that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, what would I do today just for me and just to have fun? So while I'm still hanging out at home and sipping on my coffee, <laughs> it always takes me like several hours to finish my coffee, but I just, I love getting to savor it. Um, I'm gonna work on this first. And I did realize the other day that I could work on this so much more efficiently when I wasn't watching something like on TV, um, even though I can't really look up from it for more than like a second, it was still kind of taking up time because I've got to like look at a chart and you know, crochet. I cannot do crochet without looking. So I am going to listen to a podcast. I did this the other day and it worked out so great. I'm still loving the perfectionism project. And this one is about like getting your work done early. <laughs> and so I have been, I've already listened to like the first part of it, but I'm gonna sit here, I think for maybe an hour or so and uh, see how many of these rows I can get done. Probably no more than two, but that will be a really good start in my eight rows for the day. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. Blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. All right, I just finished up my second cup of coffee and the heel of my sock almost exactly at the same time, which is kind of funny. Um, so I am going to stop here and take a break until I go to the movies because I've already done a lot of knitting and crochet today. I'm going to do a ton of knitting and crochet today and I do not want to hurt myself. So I am, I'm stretching out and I'm resting my arms for the next hour or so and then it's marathon knitting time in the theater. I realized that I didn't have a progress keeper on this project. I do have my light bulb stitch markers. You can just see them there. Marking every um, 20 rounds, but I wanna put my progress keeper in to kind of see how I'm doing today. And this one is a T, I think it was like a T-asaurus Rex or something like that. It's a little T-Rex cookie and some tea from Della Dino, super cute. So I'm gonna put that in here. Um, today I started at, oops, at this marker, and I've already done 20 rounds on the leg and a whole heel, and I am hoping I can get a lot of a foot done during the movie, it's a two hour movie. Um, I can't remember if I said already, I'm gonna go see Doctor Strange for the second time. Um, and yeah, it's like a two hour, 12 minute movie. <laughs> I need to leave in about 30 minutes. It's like a 15 minute walk. Well, probably a like 20 minute walk to the theater and the movie's at one. Um, and I will be leaving in about 30 minutes, which is 12.45. So I'm about to have some lunch. Um, Kent was so sweet before he left. He prepped some meals with me so that I would have food to eat while he's gone. So I have some like delicious enchiladas to eat for lunch. I'm gonna take toaster out so he will be good for the hours that I'm gone. And then I was getting my bag packed. So when you live in a city or when you're, I guess when you're walking somewhere, you don't have a car to keep stuff in, like in between errands or activities, you know, you can like keep a bottle of water in the car, keep a snack in the car, keep a jacket in the car. When you don't have a car, you can't do that. So I always leave the house with 
plenty of supplies. Normally I have this um, little purse backpack that I always use, but today I'm gonna bring my bigger one. Both of these are from Rebecca Minkoff. They don't make this one anymore. I don't know about this one, but this one's a lot bigger, but the straps are really thin, so I have to be careful not to make it heavy. So basically the only extra thing that I'm gonna be bringing that I wouldn't, that I wouldn't be able to use that purse for is I wanna bring a sweatshirt in case I'm cold at the movies because it's like 70 to 75 degrees today and that can really go either way. It looks really warm outside right now because it's super sunny, but if it's really windy and shady and cloudy, it can get kind of cold when it dips below 70 degrees. It honestly just depends and I'm wearing shorts. So I'm gonna bring this, put this in the bottom um, of this bag and then just put all my regular stuff and knitting on the top so it'll still be nice and light. Oh, the other thing that I'm getting is I'm gonna be getting some cookies. And so I'm bringing a little Ziploc bag because I'm probably gonna eat one of my cookies and then bring a couple home for later. So I'm bringing my Ziploc bag, bringing a hat and some sunscreen because if I'm gonna be knitting in the park and it's sunny, I do not wanna get sunburned. And what else do I have? My camera case and extra batteries. All my regular purse stuff, I'm gonna definitely be bringing AirPods. I always bring AirPods with me. Of course, my sock project, and then a water bottle. Other than that, just all of my regular um, purse things, but I think I will be set for a great afternoon. So I'm gonna go eat some lunch, rest my arms, stretch out for a little bit, take toaster out, and then we will head off to the movies. Well, I might be a little late to my movie because this just started happening. Can you see the rain like blowing across? And I can also hear stuff hitting the windows, which makes me think it might be hailing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna wait <laughs> to walk to my movie. I've already seen it. So if I need to go at a later time or miss the previews, not a big deal. Luckily, I did get toaster out. We literally just got back in. I was in the bathroom washing my hands and opened the door and he's sitting right outside of it because he's scared of storms. And I walked out and saw this. Like it was completely clear like 60 seconds ago. So crazy. small change of plans. It's supposed to rain, so I'm going to see a second movie. I've always wanted to do two movies in a row, so I'm really excited about this. So I just walked out, got a ticket, walked back in, and uh, we have a few minutes until the theater's ready, but I'm gonna go see Top Gun, so I'm excited. made it back home after a movie afternoon. It was actually pretty great. It's already 7.30. So I'm gonna show you the progress on my sock here real quick. 
But I had so much fun today, even though the day didn't turn out exactly how I was expecting it to. I have always wanted to go to a movie by myself, tick. And I have always wanted to go to two movies in a row. So double tick, those are all done. Um, and I saw the Top Gun movie and it was really good. So if you like the first one, you're gonna love it. Honestly, I kind of thought it was almost like even better. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, you can't really, you can't really beat a classic, but I thought it was really, really good. So I got so much done on this sock. I still need to mark the last little bit. Like I can't see that during the movie. So let's just see here. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 19, 20. I think I might have actually skipped. I always count to 20, put my marker in, my marker in, and then I double check because sometimes I get it wrong. Let's see. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I don't think I'm quite at the end of the foot because I need 23 for this last one. Eighteen. Okay, that's pretty good. So I have five more rows to go on the foot and then I have the toe. So I feel so good about finishing this tomorrow. So that was a lot of knitting. Actually, this marker is only from movie knitting. So this marker on is like the whole foot, um, which is more than I had on my goal sheet to get done today. So yay. Um, but I actually started like up here today. So I feel really good about that progress. And I made sure to take like lots of rest during the movie. I kind of like put my arms down, like stretch them out and stuff because you know, with marathon knitting, you do not want to injure yourself. You need lots of rests and breaks. And now I'm going to change things up. I'm going to wait and finish these tomorrow, even though I'm a little tempted to just finish them tonight. I do want to have some knitting to take with me to the park. Um, because I've decided that since I didn't get to go get to go to Central Park and to Levant Cookies today, I'm going to go tomorrow and I'm bringing you with me. Um, I think that'll just be a nice thing to do tomorrow. I have some errands that I need to run. I need to get some groceries, do a few more chores around here. Um, so I'll skip all the boring parts and you can just come with me to get cookies and to knit in the park. But for now, I'm going to stop here for the first day of this vlog toaster <laughs> and I am going to go make myself some dinner with leftovers pour myself a glass of wine and figure out how to watch The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City <laughs> season two. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to day two of the vlog. It is about 10 45 in the morning. I have been knitting and reading and I just downloaded a new pattern that I'm so excited to cast on. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I wanted to, I wanted to um, show what I'm going to be swatching for today. So it is almost June. And so I have some new projects I want to cast on for June. So I'm going to cast on one this weekend and one next weekend. And that's it. <laughs> Those are my new projects um, for the month. So I just downloaded the Twisted Tea Shorts. Hang on, I'm going to show you a picture of them, but I want to get this. There we go, off of there. Okay, so I'm going to be knitting the Twisted Tea Shorts by Brianna Lupino. And look how cute this pattern is. I have not made a pattern from her yet. She's also the Little Wolf Knits. She's a yarn dyer. Um, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love how the pattern looks. Aside from just looking adorable, it's a really well-written pattern. I've already gone through it. I was taking my measurements this morning. Oh, I guess I should zoom in. I'm gonna be making these shorts. I'm really excited about this. Um, so yeah, I was just taking my measurements and I need to swatch today, so I need to get my yarn wound up. So I figured I would do that this morning and I would bring maybe bring my swatch with me for park day today. Cause I'm still planning to go to the park later after I do some adult stuff, do some errands. I have a Pilates class. Um, gonna go to the grocery store, have to bring something to our storage unit, 
mail a couple packages. I have some things to get done today, but after that, maybe I will be able to, oh no, I won't be able to cast on today. I've got to block my swatch. Anyway, I'm at least going to get swatched today so I can start um, this week. So I'm going to be using, attempting to use three different yarns. Um, this one, they're all from Fangirl Fibers and I'm going to use the light color, I think, for like the waistband and the bottom bands around the legs. And then I'm going to attempt to use these two together. So I think for my swatch, I'm going to swatch with these two colors doing single row stripes and see if I like them used together. Because for my size, I do need two skeins for the main color. So I've already got my needles ready to swatch. I'm going to be using my three skein float tote because I have three yarns. So I'm just going to wind all three of these and then I will make my swatching attempts later. But the reason I'm thinking about bringing the swatch on my walk is because I'm really close to being done with these socks. I was knitting on them this morning while I read because I always do my 30 minutes of knitting. So they look so big, so funny. And I am already one, two, three, like three decreases into the toe. So I don't have much more to go. You can't really tell. Ah, you can kind of tell. So I'm already three de decreases into the toe. The toe goes so fast. It just gets faster and faster. So I am going to be packing that away and I'm going to bring some needles with me so I can do the grafting at the end of the toe. So that's it. I'm going to go get these wound up while I watch some more trash TV and then I'm going to be a responsible adult for a few hours and then we will go <laughs> on another adventure. It's a beautiful day today. Actually, it's a little bit hot. I wish that um, it was a little bit cooler today, but we're going to take what we can get and get out in the beautiful sunshine. time for our adventure which I am so excited about. I have repacked my backpack here and I am going to bring the two yarns that I need to swatch. Um, I had to like take out part of the swatch that I started because it was just too, coming out too big so I switched to a smaller needle size. Anyway I just need these two colors so what's fun is I can just pop these out of my float tote and I'm going to stuff them into here. I don't plan on knitting on the way just because my socks a little big for walking and knitting and I don't want to like stretch out the stitches so I'll just knit when I get there. I've got like a mile and a half walk to get cookies and then Central Park is like right there. Oh my gosh. Where are my airpods? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go find those because I definitely wouldn't be able to listen to a podcast. Got my sunglasses. I'm all sunscreened up. So we are ready to go. So we made it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find somewhere that's in the shade to sit that is near people but not too close to people. But I don't want to be safe, so I'm kind of in this like little. Now there's an airplane, but I think I spotted a bench, so I'm gonna go sit down.
made it home just before sunset and I love this time of day because I can sit right here and you can see the gorgeous city behind me without the sun like going crazy. There's not that much time I think left of sunlight. So I'm about to take a little toaster to the dog park so we can enjoy. I mean, we can go when it's dark. There's plenty of lights, but I totally wish I had left earlier today because I would have stayed and hung out at Central Park for much longer. It was amazing. I'm going to remember that and try to get out there as many times as I can in the next few weeks before it gets really hot. In the shade, it was beautiful. I actually got a little bit chilly towards the end as the sun was setting and the wind was picking up, which is kind of crazy. I was thinking I, I would just move and get into the sun, um, but I realized that I needed to go ahead and start going home so that I could be home before um, dark because there was a lot of people leaving and you know, I just want to be safe. I didn't want to be um, there alone. So I decided to go ahead and go home. And so I didn't work on my swatch at all, but I did finish my socks and I got the ends all woven in. And I just have to, I think, where is it? I just have to trim the ends. I didn't bring scissors with me. So I just have to trim the ends. I'm going to go ahead and block these tonight. My plan is to um, block these and then reuse the water to block my swatch right? Then I don't have to waste any water. I can use the water twice. So I think I'm going to do that tonight and get those done, done, done. I even wound up my ball of yarn. It's all completely done. Um, wow, we're really losing light. thought my face looked kind of red at first. I did put on sunscreen, but I wasn't really in the sun that much. Anyway, it was such a great weekend. I would love to know if you didn't have any appointments, responsibilities, kids, pets, significant others. <laughs> if you just had a totally free weekend to just do what you wanted to do, what would you do? Because I feel like I totally got that this weekend and it was so refreshing, so amazing. I am totally like ready to go on Monday and like really get into creative work and planning for things that are coming up. Sock week is one of them. Anyway, it was just an amazing weekend. I hope you had fun with me and enjoy getting to see some of the city and some projects and some toaster and all of that. And I will just close out here and see you in the next one. Bye.